today I will be showing you how to make an anime glass painting of Hori Kyoko from the anime Hori Mia. Here's a fun fact. Glass painting is an old method used by animators to create scenes for cartoons and anime in the past. Here are some materials that you will be needing to create your own anime glass painting. First are paint brushes of different sizes. Second is an oil-based pencil pen or a paint marker. Make sure that it is oil-based or a paint pen or else it will not adhere to the glass. Third is a paint palette. This is actually optional but I use it to mix colors. Next are the acrylic paints. You don't have to buy a wide range of colors. All that you will need are the primary colors as well as white and black in order for you to mix all the colors that you will be needing. I also have brown because I will be needing a lot of it for Hori's hair. Next are acrylic or glass sheets. These usually come pre-cut in different sizes. These are 6 by 6 inches in measurement. Here is an example of an acrylic or glass sheet when the cover is already peeled off. Another important material is your reference image. You can print one out or do yours manually. I have two copies because my printout doesn't have the colors right. Don't forget that when you're printing your image, you have to mirror it in order for it to be in the right side after you're done with your painting. Here, you can see me peeling off the cover of the glass sheet. Remember to apply even pressure when peeling off the cover in order to prevent the sheet from breaking. After peeling off the other side, as you can see, the glass sheet is clear. Try your best not to touch or hold the glass sheet in order to prevent your fingerprints from imprinting. The first thing that you will be doing is to lay your glass sheet on top of your reference image. Make sure that you print your image in the right size unlike what I did. You can see that the image is smaller by a few centimeters or even millimeters. I even tried printing out another image, but it was still smaller than the glass sheet. Make sure to whip out your favorite playlist to keep you going because this is going to take a while. This step isn't really required, but I usually use washi tape in order to keep my glass sheet from moving as well as to prevent it from getting damaged. Now, let's get started with the painting. First, trace or outline your reference. Make sure to keep your hands steady in order for your lines to be straight and to prevent mistakes like this. But don't worry, just grab a q-tip, dip it in some alcohol or acetone, and you can wipe those mistakes away. I ended up redoing my entire outline and started approaching it from a different So while we're here, let's talk anime. What was the first anime that you have watched? Mine was Naruto. I fell in love with the amount of lore in Naruto and my favorite character. You can check if the lines are properly connected by sliding in a paper between your reference image and your glass sheet. I actually redid the outline at least three times, but let's keep that a secret. Now, we can start mixing our paints. But before you do so, you have to take note of a few things. Anime glass painting isn't your typical painting. The image actually shows on the other side of the glass sheet. So, we also have to invert the process of painting. Earlier, we started with the outline, which is usually the last step in any painting or drawing. However, with glass painting, we start with the details, such as the shadows and highlights. 
However, it is easier said than done. Matching the colors of the shadows and highlights with the base colors is harder than it seems. It is also very, very important to have a steady hand when doing this type of painting. Very important. In order to prevent smudging when layering your paints, you can use a blow dryer to ease the process. As you can see here, I am already done with Kyoko's eyes, mouth, as well as the shadows and highlights of her hair. Now you can see that I am done with Hori's hair. Thank you. 